Yeah, hi there. These comments, I'm going to just use your uh, uh, abbreviations here, RS, and you said, uh, I want to inform you that I succeeded to get suitable scores that I tried to get. Be lower my points. You got 17 on the reading, 12 on the listening, 19 on the speaking, and 21 on the writing for a total of 69. <laughs> Good job. Now, there's people watching this video. They're saying, Michael, you're crazy. That's a terrible score. They don't know you. They don't know what we've done here. You started with a TOEFL score in the low 40s. Nobody else knows that. They don't know that four months ago when you took it, your score is about 40, and then you took the test six different times, and finally you reached the goal you're looking for. Nobody knows that. They don't know that you completed dozens and dozens and dozens of speaking practice tests at my site. They have no idea that when you first started RS, your speaking was so terrible, I couldn't understand anything you were saying. And guess what, my friend? You now got 19. Nobody knows that, but I'm telling them right now. I'm telling you, this is incredible. You did a great job. You should be very, very proud of yourself. Very proud. You never gave up. I was so hard on you in those writing practice tests and those speaking practice tests. Remember, in certain cases, I was scoring you 8 or 9 or 10 points out of 30. Remember that, RS? Remember that? What did you do? Did you give up? Did you stop posting practice tests? Of course not. You kept going over and over and over. You kept taking my suggestions. You kept reviewing the lessons. You kept practicing. Incredible. You may not have the highest score that I've ever had on my website. It doesn't matter. I don't care. I remember you, your progress, your hard work. I know where you were. I know where you are. And my friend, you did awesome. You should be very proud of yourself. I'm so happy that you're actually able to reach your TOEFL goal. And you know what? The writing, you got 21. My goodness. Remember all those writing practice tests that you were doing? You remember how hard my integrated writing practice tests were? They're impossible, right? Impossible. But look what you did. You got 21 on that section. That's your highest score. So you did a wonderful job. Hold your head high. You did what you needed to do at this point in your time. You got the score that you needed right now. So you have no reason at all. I mean, I'm happy for you. We're all happy for you. So for a job well done, And I'm confident from the day, from right now until the day I die, I'm sure I will always remember you as one of the hardest working students in my online TOEFL course I have ever seen. Maybe nobody else will ever work as hard as you did. That's a fact right there. Anyway, congratulations again for your great score.